Hi teachers, I'm going to show you a really easy way you can schedule all of your parents for parent-teacher conferences. This method can be used whether you're teaching remotely or face-to-face. -face. The first thing you're going to do is go to signupgenius.com. Once again, that's signupgenius.com. If you don't have an account, you're going to go ahead and sign up using your school email because that's the email parents will receive reminders from. So go ahead and click on create a sign up. Here you'll enter your first and last name, email, and password in order to register. After you log in your name, email, and password, it will ask you to check your inbox to verify your account. Then when you go to your account, it will ask you to activate it. It will ask you to log in one more time and you will see your dashboard. Go ahead and click on the top right corner where it says, create a sign up. In order to complete your sign up, you're gonna be going through four phases. You need to first design, then you will create the slot times, you will choose your settings, and then you will choose how you want to publish it for parents to access it. Okay, so I'm gonna start creating my design. So I'm gonna first title it, Parent Teacher Conference. And if you have a group already, you can choose your group or you can add a new group. Here you would probably add your section or your grade level, depending on what you teach. Or if you teach multiple classes, you might need to create a group for each class. Here you would type, it's just a general, or actually I would choose scheduling and then select a category education and here you can add a theme to your sign up page and the ones without the orange ribbon um, are free so i'm going to choose one of the ones that doesn't have the the ribbon so that i can access it for free i'm going to choose this back to school seven and here it gives you a little bit of a demonstration of what it would look like you can customize the image and you can customize um, the other settings here. It tells you who it's created by. You can change the message or maybe add your own form. Whatever you wanna do, you can completely customize this section right here. And then you save and continue. Next, you're gonna go over to the next tab called slots. And you have four options here. It'll actually show you an example of each type of slot that you choose. The one that I recommend is the second one called sort by slot. So here what you would do is you're gonna add a slot, click the plus sign right there, and click the title of the slot. I would write one o'clock to one fifteen. And here it says, how many people do you want to sign up for that slot? Since you're meeting one-to-one -one with parents, I would click on one. And save and add another. I'm going to give myself a five-minute break in between parent-teacher conferences. So the last one ended at 1.15, so I'm going to start this one at 1.20 with 15 minutes, 1.00. 35. And you'll have to kind of sit down and do the math of how you're going to um, set the times for your class, for your parent-teacher conferences. And I'll add another one. The last one ended at 135. I'll start this one at 140 to 155. And you would go on to the last um, parent-teacher conference time that you want to do. I'm going to stop here at 215 to demonstrate and here for the dates we're just going to add the same date if you have all of them um, the same day you don't need to add separate dates this is if you're doing it through a span of time um, but since they're all going to be on the same day Tuesday you don't need to add more dates and we're going to save and continue next it's going to take you to settings 
It'll ask you what you want to ask the participant. So this is what it's going to ask the parent. Do you want to ask them their name? Yes. Email? I would say optional. You don't really need their email. Um, you don't really need a comment from them. And you can add more things. You can ask for the phone number, address. I don't really think you need that. But what I do think um, I would want is to create a new question. And I'm going to ask name of child. I tried writing child's name, but it doesn't allow you to do special characters. So that's why I wrote name of child. And the question format is going to be a text box and I am going to require it. That way I know who is the parent of that child. Now I already tried that question before. Um, so it saved it for me here. Make sure you have that one um, on the bottom so it asks them who their child is. If not, if the parent has a different last name, you're going to have a difficult time matching whose parent is who. And the bottom, it has preferences. Um, here, it'll ask you if you want to allow parents to swap slots. I would say no, just to avoid confusion. For notifications, it'll ask you if you want to be notified by email when a parent signs up for a slot, yes, and if you want to send reminders to the parents in advance. Now this is up to you. Um, you can maybe do a reminder by email two days in advance and then maybe send them a class dojo message the day before um, or however you want to do it. You can adjust that right there. And then here in restrictions, you don't really need to add anything else. Just in general settings, I would remove that check mark. And here I would check mark both and add how many days in advance you want to notify parents. And then click on save and continue. So we've already done design, slots, settings, and now we're in publish. And here it'll give you a preview of what it would look like in a desktop or on their phone. So this is what it would look like for parents. It would have your title, your description, the day, who it's created by. If you want to customize the photo, maybe to the same photo that you have on your Schoology course or on your, on your app, it's up to you. Um, or you can just leave this one. And then it'll show the available slots and they would simply click on one of these. And then it also shows you the phone preview of what it would look like on their phone. And then you go ahead and hit publish. And now it's going to ask you, how do you want to share it with the parents? Now, if you're the kind of teacher that's going to be communicating with parent through Class Dojo or Blooms, um, or one of those forms of media, then you would copy the link. I think this is the easiest way. You would just copy the link and send it to all the parents. You can also um, invite by text, but that's not included in the free version. You can share on a website, um, or you can invite by email. But the easiest way um, out of the free version is to copy the link. I'm going to hit click on copy link. So next I'm going to copy, well, I copied the link um, that you were supposed to send to the parents and I'm going to paste it on my desktop really quick so that you can see what parents will see. So if I'm the parent, I would receive this when I open that link and I would sign up for the time that I choose. And then I'm going to have to hit submit and sign up. Here it says sign up as, and then it'll have your name and your email, um, and it'll ask for me to type my child's name. So here I would type just the child's name and sign up now. The parent will have the choice if they want to add to the calendar, if they want to edit their sign up, um, maybe they want to share it with their spouse, um, or maybe they want to email you and ask you um, 
a question about their conference time. As you see here, you will get an email anytime someone signs up. I did another one called John Smith, and it'll tell you John Smith signed up for 120 to 135. And you can view the sign up. You can contact the parent if they left an email. Um, and you'll get an email every time a parent signs up to your parent teacher conference. If for whatever reason you're not getting the emails and you maybe you have a notepad where you're writing everything down, um, you don't really have to do that because if you log back into your account and then you go to signups, it will actually show you this list of who has signed up for every single slot. So here you would have all of your signups if you have more than one. And it'll show you the times of who signed up at what time, but you can also go to reports and stats. Click on stats and you'll be able to see how many slots have filled, how many total slots you had, how many available, um, and the percentage filled, the percentage of spots filled. So you can have all the information here. Um, you can customize your report. You can print out your report. So there's many ways that you can access all of your, your time slots that have been filled up. I created some parent teacher slides that you can use while you're talking to parents. If you're a teacher at my school or district, I will email you these slides, but if not, you can download them by going to the links below this video. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe for some more teacher tech tutorials. I hope your parent teacher conferences run smoothly and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.